Well, good morning. Today is the 6th of January, which would normally be the Feast of the Epiphany. Uh, obviously, the Epiphany, as with many feasts, is transferred to um, the, the Sunday, as we celebrated it uh, last week. But I just thought this is our last opportunity to maybe visit the crib and uh, to just chat a few things about, uh, uh, about what we see. First of all, the, uh, the wise men have arrived. Uh, we always sing that song, We Three Kings of Orient Are, well, in saying that, we in fact are expressing two inaccuracies. The first thing is that we, we see three of them because we associate with three gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But there's nothing in the Bible that says there was only three. Uh, we in fact, we have no idea how many there were, but they brought three gifts. The other thing is it doesn't say in the Bible that they were kings. It says that they are magi, wise men. Uh, the fact that we we uh, consider there to be a kingship is because there were gifts not from kings, but for a king. There were gifts for Jesus Christ. Now, the other interesting thing about uh, the Magi is that uh, we find them often in the stable, in the manger. In fact, there's nothing in the Bible that says that either. <laughs> If we have a look at uh, the time that they came to visit uh, uh, Mary and, and Jesus, they found them, as it says in the Bible, in a house, not in a, not in a stable, in a house. And when they came, it was uh, probably about maybe three or four years after Jesus was born. That is why we see that when Herod uh, gave the decree to put all the young boys to death, uh, it was because he wanted to take care of all the children of that age. If he had only wanted to take care of Jesus, then uh, at, at birth, he would only be looking for infants, not just young children. So um, the other, uh, other factor is if we we chat to all the scientists that tell us that in, in all likelihood that the Magi were following um, either Halley's Comet, which was around uh, in about the, the fourth year after Jesus was born, or else the alignment of a couple of uh, planets, which was giving a bright shining light in the sky so um, you know often we find these things uh, that we attach ourselves to and they i wouldn't say they myth but uh, it's important that we do give consideration to them does that take anything away from the visit of the magi to jesus and to to mary and to pay homage no it doesn't because if we have a look at our crib set and i'll just back out a little bit um everybody is focused on the baby that's what it's all about, because they came to do homage. They came uh, to observe. They came to worship Jesus, the King. And we need to also appreciate uh, that we are called to do that regularly and must never forget that we've got to pay homage to Jesus often. We've got to recognize him as our King and in our own way show respect, deep, deep respect for the love that he has shown for us by coming into this world. May you have a wonderful day and we'll chat to you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.